No, I think we should put, put, move it back and do it properly. Good? Cat. Well, we're crossing from Newfoundland to Ireland, which is the North Atlantic, and it's one of the windiest, stormiest areas of the entire world. Many ships, big ships, have sunk here before, dating back hundreds of years. And we ha are having to avoid other freighters, shipping traffic, fishing boats, icebergs, potentially, um, and we're designing the boat to sail for up to 30, 40 knot winds. Um, so yes, it's a very perilous journey, um, but we have spent a lot of time and thought into this, uh, making sure the boat can handle what we anticipate. Okay, we're good. Probably getting a gig now. Do we have a 64 gig card in there? Or? Okay, experience windsurfing sales. That would be good. Because it's a normal windsurfing sale. I mean, anyone who knows the windsurfing sale. Hey, go for it. We spent two and a half years designing and then building this boat, but you can never know if your design actually works until you put it into the water and see it actually perform. And so the last few months have been instrumental for us in seeing small mistakes we'd made, small improvements we could make, and on a weekly and even daily basis, we come back from testing every day, say what can we do better, make the changes at night, and the next day we take the boat out again and see those improvements and how they perform. Keith. Timed out. Okay, I've got the RC batteries on now. So once it's in the water, we're not able to uh, take control at all. It does everything on its own. So it sails on its own, it maneuvers on its own, it takes the wind data, and it just navigates on its own. The sailing logic has to be very reliable. Um, anything in our, our path, uh, we have to be able to detect. Um, yeah, and, and weather is a huge thing.
basically what they're responsible for doing is communicating with our batteries to determine state of charge, as well as doing things like providing power for our motors, such as the rudder motor, which of course moves the rudder and the winch, uh, which moves the sail in and out. Um, and it will do things such as uh, switch those on and off to save power. We've been so busy lately, I haven't fully thought it through, but this project has involved my entire time at being an engineering student, and I can't imagine what it's going to be like and the exhilaration we're going to feel when we're standing on the Iron Lens shore, watching it come across, having last seen it in Newfoundland. I think it's going to be one of the highlights of my entire life, in fact, and it's been one thing I've been looking forward to more than anything else, even more than graduating. Connor, watch out for the windward side of the buoy there. 